We're in the boot room. This is um, where the players put on their boots, like the boot room, and they go to the pitch. It stinks. <laughs> so that's why they keep it here, so we don't get the smell in the, in the hotel. You can come and have a look. This is the room where the decisions are made and where cameras are not usually allowed. This is our office, technical, women's technical office. So we come here Monday, Tuesday most of the time. England's manager, Serena Wiegmann, is giving us a behind-the-scenes tour at St George's Park, the training base they share with the nation's men's team, just a fortnight before the country hosts the Euros. Is it a help or a hindrance, the fact that it's at home for England? I hope that with how we play and how we perform on the pitch that we can get even more excitement from, from all the England people and all the England fans and that they're going to be our 12 men and women. She won Europe's most prestigious trophy at the last Euros as the manager of her home nation, the Netherlands. As a player, she earned more than 100 caps for her country, but as a child, she had to cut her hair short just to be allowed to play in a boys' team. Did having to fight to play the game, did that help make you the manager that you are today? And has that made you perhaps a harder manager yeah. on your players? Yeah, I think uh, well, those experiences help you and, and, and develop you in the way you are right now. Uh, lots of experiences in, in your journey make who you are right now. And yes, I learned how to fight. Um, and I just loved being involved in football. Obviously, when you were playing, you, it wasn't professional, so you had to have a job, right, as a PE teacher. Yeah. But how does it help you be, I suppose, a manager? A massive help. Uh, first of all, my physical education. Uh, so you learn how to, you know, you learn so many things about education, about teaching, about psychology, physiology. She has swapped lesson plans for team sheets, but education is still her priority, ensuring her players learn about and understand their bodies. So today, I'm obviously not my period, so at the top you'd click non, spot in, light, medium, heavy, and again you highlight your symptoms, and what this does is every morning you would um, kind of log symptoms if you had an it or whether you're on or off, and then the medical team will get a notification. For the first time during a major tournament, England are using an app to monitor players' menstrual cycles to maximise their performance on a match day and avoid injuries. And this is one area we really feel we can, we can help support and we probably haven't done it over the last five or ten years and with as much as we could have done. The research wasn't there, the understanding wasn't there. The more we know, the more we can implement and the more we can help players feel, feel better and minimise any of those symptoms. Is it strange for you having to speak to an employer about your periods? Or for you, is it just, you know what, I'm a sports person, I just have to do this as part of my everyday job? And I think it's getting to that stage where it's a normal thing in life and we shouldn't have to be shamed or hide ourselves or, oh my God, I'm, I'm on my period. Like, it's, it's part of life. Wiegmann has not just brought in radical changes, but also some pretty strict and specific rules. Tiny little things, no puffer jackets in meetings, no, you know, certain footwear at certain times. And she, yeah, she makes you feel comfortable when you're speaking to her 100%, but she's also somebody that I wouldn't want to cross. No puffer jackets allowed in meetings. That's what the players were telling me earlier on. <laughs> Why? Well, no, no, it's a jacket. It's a jacket for outside. So I said, when we're in a meeting, it's like a familiar thing, so we're inside. So take off your jacket, uh, otherwise it's, it's like you're, you're going outside and going for a walk, but we're in, in a meeting all Are together. Are you speaking there as a teacher or as a coach? <laughs> no, I think as a coach. Okay. <laughs> With teaching experience. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have pitch five and four, which are three pitches that are similar with the pitch at Wembley. Strict, perhaps, but she could be England women's answer to winning their first major silverware. Amy Lewis, ITV News.